Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to use... We're just going to make a new leg. So using the extrude button, we're going to select the plane on the other side of the leg and we're going to go to the left side plane. Just make sure that that's the right one, yep. Go back to the left then. And we're just going to trace around <laughs> the uh, other leg. So we'll use the concentric circle tool. We'll look like that. Left click on the outside and then drag it to until it's green and then middle click out of that. Left click on the line tool. Left click on the extremity of that circle and drag it all the way down to the bottom of the foot and just trace around the other leg. So we don't have to do any dimensions with this, which is a good thing. And then middle click out of that. And that's done, so now we just need to delete that segment there. So going up to the delete segment tool, left click on that, and left click on that one, that's separating the shape. And now we're just going to left click OK, and choose the dimensions of our leg. Our width is 7.1 millimeters. Enter, left click OK, and now we want to create our circles, so left click on this plane here and left click extrude, and then we'll, the orientation will be the back orientation, so you want to drag it down here, and we're just going to replicate exactly what the circles on the left side are which will be a little easier, which is nice. So if you just come here, go to the center, and then the same on this side. Might drop a center line just as a reference point on the middle of there, the circle. And then go to the center of the circle. Maybe a center line in the middle of this leg here. Click there. And we'll create our center circle here. All right. Now that that's done, we can left click on OK and extrude through the material. So changing the direction using that arrow there. And the extrusion will be 1.68 millimeters deep. All right, enter. And now we are going to create the foot extrusion. So just left click OK for that extrusion there. And now we're going to extrude on this bottom foot. So left click on that face and left click on extrude. And change the plane to bottom, or the orientation, sorry, to bottom. And we're going to want to figure out the dimensions of this line. So we'll put some center lines down. Left click on the center line tool. And just left click on the bottom of that um, rectangle that's been cut out of the foot. And also on the top of that rectangle that's been cut out of the foot. Um, and then we'll change the orientation to bottom once again and zoom in, get a better view, and click on the corner rectangle tool. Now we want to replicate exactly what this rectangle is, so let's do it like that and we'll drag it over, hopefully. We can create a relationship between two circles, two of these rectangles. Uh, maybe not. We'll just go to construction mode and choose a construction line. And the distance between 
um, the distance in from the edge of that foot is one point zero four millimeters in. So we're going to create a line that's one point zero four millimeters in. Just drop that on that top center line and middle click out. And we're going to change the dimensions of that line that we just dropped to using the dimension tool to and create another line further in so we can get a better idea of what the dimension is. And we're going to change that to 1.04 millimeters. 1.04 millimeters, enter. And now we're going to create our corner rectangle. So get in the drop down menu. And make sure you're in line with that construction line you just made. Now the dimensions of this rectangle is get exactly the same. It's going to be change that width. Make sure you add a construction mode. Change that width to. were five point zero two millimeters that dimension. So we're going to change that dimension there to five point zero two. Five point zero two. Enter. All right. Now that's done. We can delete this rectangle on the left side that we've already created. So just click all the lines and just left click OK and we're going to now extrude that removing material and it is give me the side on 2.04 millimeters deep and left click on OK once that's done. The last thing we're going to want to do is create the female pivot point for the cylinder on the waist. So just left click on that inside face of the leg and left click on extrude to begin extruding. So now we want to change the orientation to the left side and we're going to zoom in on that leg. And we're going to choose the concentric circle tool just to see if we can yep, find that one there, which is the, uh, the circle on the other side. And you're just going to left click on the extremity of that circle, then drag it out till it's green and let go of it. <laughs> and now we're going to middle click out of that. And left click OK, oh, left click out of it, and then middle click out of it. And left click OK. And we're going to remove material. 
and go the opposite direction. And we are going to remove four millimeters worth of material. So four, then enter, and then left click OK. And that is our second leg done.